Welcome everybody, it's Amel, and today we're going to solve LRU cache. Design a data structure that follows the constraints of a least recently used LRU cache. Implement the LRU cache class. So here we have the constructor, LRU cache int capacity. Initialize the LRU cache with positive size capacity. Int get int key. Return the value of the key if the key exists, otherwise return minus one. Void put int key int value. Update the value of the key if the key exists. Otherwise, add the key value pair to the cache. If the number of keys exceeds the capacity from this operation, evict the least recently used key. And we also have a follow-up. Could you do get and put in big of one time complexity? So we have an example. Um, we instantiate a new object or type LRU cache. So here you can see that we pass the value 2 to the constructor. So the maximum capacity is 2. That means that the maximum number of entries that the cache can have is 2. Then we put the entry 1, 1. So now the cache contains 1, 1. Then we put the entry 2, 2. Now the cache contains 1, 1 and 2, 2. Then we do a get on the value 1. So we return the value 1 because this is key 1 and the value is 1. At the same time, when we do the get, this entry becomes the most recently used entry. So 2, 2 becomes the least recently used entry. Then we pull 3, 3. However, we already have two entries. So we have to evict the least recently used entry, which was 2, because uh, the capacity is 2. So we evict 2, 2, and now the cache contains 1, 1 and 3, 3. Now we do a get on the on the key number two. However, it returns minus one because it was not found. It was evicted. Now we do a put on four comma four, and because it has already two entries in there, we have to evict the least recently used entry. The least recently used entry is one comma one. So we evict one comma one, and now the cache contains four comma four and three comma three. Now we do a get on the key 1, however it was evicted, so it returns minus 1 because it was not found. We do a get on the key 3 and it returns its value which is 3. Then we do a get on key 4 and it returns its value which is 4. So how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem by using a combination of data structures. We can use a hash table and also a doubly linked list. We use the hash table because we can check in constant time if a key exists in the cache by using a hash table. And we use the doubly linked list because we can maintain the least recently removed, the least recently used item at the head and the most recently used item at the tail. And by doing that, we can remove the least recently used item in constant time. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need to have an instance variable private integer capacity. I also need to define a private class because I want to implement a doubly linked list. So private class node, it's gonna have a key and it will also have a value it also needs to have a reference to the previous node and a reference to the next node. For convenience, I'm going to define a constructor, so public node, and I'm going to pass two values, integer key and also the value. And then I just need to say that this that key gets a value of key and this that value gets a value of value. So now I have this class and I can define a head node and a tail node. So here I'm going to have a private reference to a node, the head and the tail. So this will be a reference to the head and a reference to the tail. And I'm going to use these nodes as dummy nodes in order to simplify the logic of the code, in order to simplify the implementation. So I also have to have a private map from integer 
to reference to node because I want to map each key to the corresponding node in the doubly linked list. So now I can in I can initialize these variables in the constructor. I'm going to say this that capacity is a value of capacity. The head gets the value of new node. The key is zero, the value is zero, because uh, these values are dummy values. Remember that this is just a dummy node. Its only purpose is to simplify the implementation. Tail gets the value of new node with dummy value 0, 0, for the key and the value. I want to establish a connection between the head and the tail. So I'm going to say head that next points to where the tail is pointing to and tail that previous points to where the head is pointing to. So I can connect the head to the tail and also the tail to the head um, using the next link of the head and the previous link of the tail. I'm doing this because I want to simplify the implementation of the code. Whenever I add nodes, I can simply add them to the tail very easily. Initially, I have to establish this, this connection here. And then I can say map gets a value of new hash map. Okay, so now I defined the constructor and I have these variables. These instance variables have been instantiated. They have been initialized. So now I can define the private methods that will they will help me because they will be for the doubly linked list. So I'm going to go below, I'm going to say private void add. I want to add a node. I want to add a node to the doubly linked list. So I want to add it to the tail each time. So I'm going to have a reference to a node previous gets the value of tail that previous. And then I'm going to say previous that next points to what node is pointing to, and node that previous points to what previous is pointing to, and node that next points to what the tail is pointing to, and tail that previous points to what the node is pointing to. So what I'm doing here is that I have I have a new node, and I'm putting this node right before the tail. So I have to fix all the links, the links of the previous node, the node that was uh, before the tail previously and also the links of the new node and the previous link of the tail so I have to fix all those links so I'm going to insert this new node right before the tail each time and this takes constant time because I'm just I'm just changing a few links here now I also want to define a method it's going to be a helper method so it's going to be private void remove I want to remove a node in the list. So I need to have a reference previous, gets the value of node that previous, and also another reference next, gets the value of node that next. And then I just want to bypass this this node, right? I want to delete this node, so I just want to bypass it. So I'm going to say previous that next points to what next is pointing to, and next that previous points to what previous is pointing to. And by doing this, uh, I remove the node. If I were doing this in C++ or in C, then I would have to use delete in C++ or free in C because uh, they don't have a garbage collector. In Java, there's a garbage collector, so you don't have to deallocate memory explicitly. So uh, the code is simpler in Java than in C++ and C. So now I have these methods, and they will be um, they will allow me to remove nodes from the doubly linked list, and I can also add a new node to the tail of the doubly linked list. So now uh, let me implement the first operation, which is get. So whenever you get um, the value of this key, you need to check if the key exists. So if map that contains key key. So that's one possibility. If the key does not exist, return minus one. If it does not exist, return minus one. If the key exists, then I want to get the node that belongs to that key. So reference to a node, node, because the value of map that gets key. Then I want to refresh the node, because now this node will become the most recently used node. 
So I want to put it at the tail. So I'm going to remove the node uh, from the position where it is in the doubly linked list, remove that node, and then add it back because now I want to add it to the tail. So by doing this, I can refresh that node and it becomes the most recently used item. And then I can simply return the value of the node. So this is the implementation for get. First, we have to check if the key exists. If it does not exist, we return minus one directly. If it exists, then we have to refresh it because it will become the most recently used item and then we have to return the value of the node. Now, whenever I want to put a value, whenever I want to put an entry, I need to check if map that contains key, key, if it's there, I want to remove it from the doubly linked list because I want to refresh it. So remove map that get key. So I remove the node from the doubly linked list because I want to refresh that node. I want to remove it from that position and I want to place a new node at the tail that contains this new key, um, this key with this value, right? Then I need to make a new node and it's going to have this key and this value. And then I want to add it to the tail because this is the most recently used node. And I also want to update it in the map. So map that put the key with this new node because um, I want to update the key. Now it has a new node. So I have to put this new node associated with this key. And whenever I do this, I need to check to make sure that um, the, the capacity, right? I need to make sure that the size of the map um, is less than or equal to capacity because I need to make sure that whenever whenever I reach the capacity, if I try to add a new entry and if it exceeds the capacity, I need to remove it. So I'm going to check if map the size is bigger than capacity. In this case, I need to remove it. So I'm going to get the least recently used entry. So that's going to be um, X. That's the least recently used entry gets the value of head that next. I need to remove it from the list, remove X, and I also want to remove it from the map. So map that remove the entry with X that key. And that's the implementation. So put takes constant time and also get takes constant time. So I'm going to run the code. Then I'm going to submit my solution. Okay, it's working perfectly. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.